Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, we will discuss some concepts about Windows Access Tokens. Have you watched another video on our channel on users and groups on a Windows computer? I highly recommend that you watch it before proceeding with this video. You can find the link to it in the description box below. We will start with understanding what access tokens are. They describe security information for processes and threads on a computer. Processes are started by a user or the system and are assigned the relevant security identifier. The process started by a user is typically assigned specific privileges to perform a task. Privilege refers to the right to carry out a task. Information about the security identifier and privileges are stored in the token. Here are some examples or privileges. When a process is assigned the load driver privilege, it can load or unload kernel level drivers. A process with the machine account privilege can create new user accounts on a system. A process with the shutdown privilege can initiate a system reboot. A process contains the list of possible privileges it can have. However, a privilege must be enabled for use. In some cases, it is enabled by default when the process starts, and in other cases, it must be explicitly enabled. The keywords default and enabled are referred to as privilege attributes. Now, let's view the access tokens associated with a process in user land. This can be done using Process Explorer. Let us view the access token information for the command prompt application. Right-click and select Properties. Navigate to the Security tab. Here is the security identifier of the user who started the command prompt application. These are the security identifiers of the system groups associated with this process. These are the privileges used by this process. However, only one is enabled. I encourage you to research about the purpose of Windows privileges. Next, let's observe access token information in kernel LAN. I have Windows Debugger running in kernel debugging mode. Let's view process information for the command prompt application. The second number here indicates the level of information to display. It is a flag value. With one, you can view token information. Here, you can find the address where the access token is present. Click on it to view the token information for command prompt. You can find information about the security identifier of the user and groups associated, followed by information about the enabled privileges, and more. In the video on users and groups, we used another technique to view the token information for a process. It is a great idea to be aware of multiple techniques to perform the same task. Let's view the token information for another process. Notepad application that is running as the administrator. Here is the process information. Let us view the token. The process was started by user 10. With admin privileges. We can find a bigger list of privileges with three of them enabled. I encourage you to research about the other fields in the token structure. Do you have a good idea now? about how access tokens exist. Malware samples sometimes misuse access tokens to perform lateral movement on a network or to escalate privileges on a host. Knowing the internals of access tokens and how the various fields of information can be interpreted will help provide more information about a malware's behavior. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.